Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Holotrak and we are playing Crusader Kings 2 with the newest DLC, the Reapers do as Jarl Björn Ironside. Uh, in the last episode we went um, Viking, we sailed up the Rhine and plundered all the places upwards. Um, what I actually wanted to do is I wanted to siege these two bishoprics and burn them down because they are not as strong as the other things um, as the castles they don't have those defensive values so we should be able to to break them down and get some nice loot at least that's the idea we also have um, some interesting power plays going on at home um, Jarl Harane of Wester Gotland died but ma his father managed to take those two places under his under his command um, and the Jarl of Murray has gone for Gotland which is, it's all not too great, actually. Um, is this your son? Chief of Murre. Um, heir, regent. No, it's it's actually a nobody. Interesting. Ah, no, I know how that worked. So this guy actually took over um, Murre over there for some, or, or Smallland. For some reason, he's now the lord. I'm pretty sure that he was the Lord of Gotland all along. Something changed over there. Yeah, let's let's have a look at the history of this. Um, Stain conquered in a war. Yeah, the former chief of uh, the the current chief of Mur and Verand was actually conquered by the the guy from from Gotland over there. Okay, interesting move. Very interesting move. I wonder that what that what that wall is, what that wall signifies. We only have a shipbuilder. I guess that is the historic um, historic settlement on Gotland, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, let's let's continue raiding. We still need a economical power base to be able to do anything because as soon as we bring out our troops, we are deep in the red. Um, I've invested some money to build um, market market villages over here and over here we also build one over there we do currently have the chief of Arland in our dungeon and i'm kind of hoping that he dies actually <laughs> because i would really like his um, his place he does have a child though that's not good and we have the budget deficit again um i would like to plunder these but i kind of have to go for the low-hanging fruit at least at the moment um, oh, and these places are ill. I guess I have to I guess I have to stay away from that, at least for now. And we already have the Raiders of Helsingland in here. I wonder if we can join in. We might be able to do that. We might be stronger in, in numbers. Now, these guys seem to have some sort of a civil war. No? Yeah, truce with King Rivalin of Brage. So the Britannia is split. Okay, these guys left, which is quite nice. Because now we should be able to siphon off the rest of the money. Nordland is raiding over here. Godi Hrotka has published his new theory and apparently it has become the laughingstock of the entire medical community. It is being read as entertainment by scholars throughout the realm. <laughs> so uh, the story is we gave him some money to uh, publicize his medical ideas and apparently it's all shit. <laughs> that vile coward has brought me nothing but shame. Okay, Gordy Rodka and you as his patron have become the laughing stock of the scholarly community. Lose 50 prestige. What? No, that's not right. Oh, come on. That's bad luck. It, it can happen though. It can happen. Oh, if we were able to to march on that thing, there's actually quite a bit of loot to be had. There's nothing over here that we could get. There's some over there. There's nothing over here. Oh, we could go after Paris, actually. I mean, it's a bold move. <laughs> but it is it is befitting the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. Well, we're gonna move over here for now. How, how many defenders do they have? Um, could also just could also just stay and try to break it down. 
plunder, plunder the city and all that. Mm. We're, we're out for the cheap money for now. Can't really make big jumps. Now let's move over. We'll still be able to pull some money. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, get into the ships. Nice. <laughs> uh, so Chief Heston is going to arrive over here. Heston. Oh, this belongs to Norseman. I am sorry, buddy. No, he is a Breton, but he's definitely of Norse descent. So we won't really be plundering your stuff anymore. Hmm. But there's some nice loot to be had over here in kind of. I'm kind of sorry that I attacked him. My liege, people of Constantinople have progressed beyond our own technology technological level. Nice one. I like it. Okay, what can we do? Still can't upgrade this one. Can upgrade both of these. Um, house call training ground, militia training ground. What will the town do? Toll booth, mustering grounds. Nope. Improved keeps. Trade practice. Nope. Construction. It's all not too great. I think we're going to go for castle infrastructure because we need that. Um, can't really go for more majesty. I'm not sure if I want the rest. I could go for legalism. And we could go for low centralization. Title revocation allowed. Unlocks decision not available for your character. Okay, it's nice that it tells me that. Noble customs. Feudal vassal opinion plus three. Yeah, let's go for that. That seems to make the most sense. I really want that, but it doesn't look like I can do it. So for now, we'll, we'll have to be content with the tech level that we have. Defensive pact opposing Ali. Suffer it has been disbanded. Okay, what did you do? What are you? Ah, he's the satrap of this area. Well, he's quite a powerful man. He's looking very odd. But he's a powerful man. Oh, one child lacks an education focus. Björn Erikerson. What? Okay, so you're affectionate, an idolizer, and brooding. Now we can tell you to do different stuff. Ah, nice. Stewardship, learning, intrigue, or martial. I think we're going to go for a little bit of diplomacy. Willful and fussy children will be hampered. Affectionate and curious children will do better. Brooding. You're affectionate. Okay. Okay. Rowdy and willful children will do better. Timid and idolizers will be hampered. Playful and fussy. Brooding and conscientious. We could go for the stewardship route, but I think we really want to go for diplomatic education. That's, um, I think, the best way to best way to go here mm, yeah he does have a lot of heavy infantry we don't have yeah we have 90 heavy infantry it's it's not too much though so could be better We're nearly there with um, siphoning off the the wealth okay Ivor the boneless is now more inclined to um, think well of me that's good well done Okay, we've reached the end of the lootable stuff in here. Let's move our army over here to siphon up the um, couple of bucks that are to be had. Mm. Okay, nothing now. Let's move you over. I think these guys will just stay behind their walls. And there's actually a fair amount of money to be had over here in um, Montcontour. What, what else do we have? Saint Priège. Hmm. How much money have we collected already? 58. Still running a deficit, but nearly there with finishing those two market villages. We can also build one in the Sunderman tribe. Your wife, High Chieftess Iliana, has sent you a gift. It is a small puppy, but of the finest pedigree and destined to grow into a great hunting dog. Well, that's quite nice of her. That gives me hunting dog, giving the following effects. Diplomacy plus one and health plus one. Well, we are both quite old, so there's not much going on anymore, I don't think. But I really, really take your your gift. 
Your new puppy has no name yet, my lord. What will you call it? Faithful, hunter or tricky? You're gonna be hunter. Why not? Since we're already a hunter. Defenders of Mont Contour launched an unsuccessful raid against besiegers, taking heavy losses in the attempt. Nice. Okay. I take it. We might actually be able to break this down. Due to my lack of funds to pay my sheriffs and magistrates, um, a thieves guild has been established in Gastrickland. Yeah, that's really bad. I don't like it. We're gonna move home again. I'm really not cut out at the moment for long... for long adventures. The amount of thieves preying upon the people of this county is enormous. Yeah, that is one of the things that can happen. We built a, mar a market village. Oh, and we have an event. My marshal, Rikulfer, has gathered up a great host of raiders, lusting for plunder and wanton destruction. I must use these men and not allow them to sit idle for too long. That's great news indeed. Yeah, 300 raiders over there. I like it. Um, let's see what we can do with them. Raiders under Chief Voito of Suomi have arrived to loot and pillage in Nyburn, Ironsides, County of Orland. The gall of these people. The gall of them. But they will look um, they will look quite surprised when I march my troops into there. Okay, we gained 61 gold, which brings us back into the um, into the black again. Um, let's give you another commander. Who's we got? Eskild, Björn, and Gudmundr, I think. Let's move on these guys. Let's kick them out of the land. Yeah, that's how that goes. Nice. And I think we'll follow them. Finish them off. We'll bring down these uh, the fleets for now. Um, later in the game, it will be quite beneficial for us to take the, um, the fleets of our vessels instead of our own. Oh, you're moving to Satakunta. And you're moving to Hammer. Okay, we'll move over there see what we can do I want to I want to finish his troops my liege it pains me to say but there's a traitor in the realm this rotten egg is plotting your downfall I enclose the damning evidence with this letter your loyal servant Rolfer okay so my spy master has found a traitor what are you you have cancer oh that sucks dude okay you had a successful treatment though that's Quite nice, that basically counters... No, nah, it nearly counters the cancer. And you're pious. Um, okay. Fetch me the traitor. Ivor is a traitor. Falsely convicted. Falsely convicted. So he's not... He's not actually... He's not actually convicted. I mean, it would actually be useful for me to put him into prison. He's getting quite powerful. He has Jan Berlan and Vestmanland. Let's do it. Fe fetch me the traitor. Commander of Swithyard. And we're lacking a chancellor now. Is this guy my prisoner now? Yeah, Ivan and Solvi. And Ivo doesn't have a good opinion of me now. He's been falsely um, convicted. He's imprisoned. He likes me because I'm a Viking. This guy still really loves me. <laughs> the chief of Orland. <laughs> would I gain your stuff? Indeed, I would. Okay, this would be more than I could actually rule. Might not be a bad thing, though. I'm going to keep you in prison. Um, although, I mean, are we just? Not really. We're greedy and proud. And we're brave. So, yeah, if if you were just, I might actually have set them free. But since we're greedy, it kind of fits. Your dog is growing quickly and is no longer a little puppy. He runs fast and has a keen nose, and your dog handlers praise his good character. Good dog. We gain 10 prestige. Great. Uh, we actually want to build something at Upland. I could go for another bigger town with 0.5 income. 
Yeah, let's go for the war camp for now. I mean, more men is always good. Okay, what, what are you doing? Arrive and Kekel saw me. Have we been raiding you? Uh, there's nothing. There's nothing, nothing to get here, really. These guys are really, really poor. Okay, where did he go now? Where did he go now? Chasing him through all the land. So let's let's try to catch him. Maybe we'll be able to do that and to finish him off. That could be quite cool. Because then we can actually plunder Swarmy over there, which I wouldn't mind. I mean, it's not a lot of money, but it will impede these guys' ability to come over and raid us again. Quite heavily, actually. Okay, being attacked over here. And you're moving back. I think I'll, I'll move back with you. Ooh, the defensive pact opposing Arpad Arpad has been disbanded. High Chief Arpad the Brute. Okay, I guess he's the um, ancestor of the Hungarians. Um, we've got a new realm, yes. High Chief Arpad of Galich has decided to abandon nomadic life and settle down in Galich with his followers, making it a new homeland for the Hungarian people. Oh, okay, let's have a look at the realms. Yeah, the Magyars are over here now. And there's Galich. What? Oh no, these guys are still tribal. Okay, I get it. I get it. I'm not quite sure why you are the lord of the Duchy of Galich, but oh well. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Now, how's it going over here? We're still marching our troops around. Uh, we accidentally got into a fight with the um, Duke of Corellia over there, or the High Chief of Corellia. I didn't actually mean to do that, but oh well. That's just how that goes in war. We're not losing too much money anymore. Building those two marketplaces actually really helped. If we can build two more, we will basically be down to nothing if we have our army activated. It's still a problem with the ships, but we're getting there. Getting a solid economic base. Um, how how big is Bergslagen actually? How many how many titles do we have in there? Ah, it's that that also belongs to it. I mean, these are not amazing provinces, but they could be quite useful. I'd rather have Gotland, though. I'd rather have Gotland. Smallland, Oster Gotland. It would kind of piss him off to take that over. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. At the moment, we're over here, busy raiding Swarmy. So he managed to move his troops home. But I think we'll, we'll um, burn him down. And Ivor of West Maryland is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon, asking for more suitable accommodations. Well, you're going to go into the Oubliette as well. We might actually gain some some provinces. And provinces are power in this in this thing. I might land my son over here in Orland. That might not be a bad idea. Okay, Rurik of Holmgardr died of cancer. My son-in-law. Oh, did you did you lose your did you lose your lands? No. Okay, my son-in-law. So these are my grandsons. Um, don't you like me? State diplomacy, religious differences, prestige. What are you? Slavic. No, wait. Yeah, I guess so. Slavic. Germanic. How's the moral authority of the Slavic? Why did you why did you change your, your beliefs? That's not right. Yeah, we have Jarbjörn of Tver, who is actually a proper Norseman. And uh, what's the other guy? Starkader of Lagoda. Ladoga. He's also a proper Norseman. Doesn't look like the right person won. We might actually have to intervene over here to ensure that um, the realms stay proper Norse. I mean, they have a, a Slavic holy site over here in Holmgarder as well. 
which is kind of interesting. This is Germanic. So, Jarl Dyrid the Stranger, Jarl of Lesser Poland. Really amazing. So, yeah, we have a couple of very strong countries over there. And these guys are Slavic as well. Yeah, it doesn't really look too great for the Christians at this at this point in time. I'm definitely gonna finish raiding this place just to just to take away his um, his abilities, his strategic abilities. Because I I think I wanna. Oh, you only have one eye. Well, that's how it goes if you if you come to attack me. But for now, I think I'm gonna end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you join me next time. We'll do more raiding and we'll try to increase our power base. And I think we'll, we might make a move on some of these guys to, to finally gain the title of... Um, the title of the Kingdom of Sweden. But yeah, that has to wait until the next episode. So thanks and bye bye.